I was a healthy 31 year old and I thought I had bronchitis for about three weeks. Went to my primary care doctor after week three and she thought I had pneumonia. So she you know, told me to go home and rest. And at the end of the week that I was home, I really felt like I couldn't get out of bed. I really couldn't catch my breath. I felt like I was suffocating. I just couldn't get enough oxygen. And that was my main concern. And that's why I went to the hospital. So I ended up in the ER and I find out I have heart failure. If you're 31 years old and you have pneumonia, you'll be fine, right? <laughs> if you're 31 years old and you have heart failure, you might not be okay. When Amanda presented in the emergency department, it was clear that something was wrong. She was admitted to the hospital. She was transferred to the intensive care unit. They took me back right away when I told them my symptoms, and the rest is really a flurry of activity. Her heart was failing, her lungs were filling up with fluid, and it was clear that she was in trouble. I was on a CPAP machine, and I was on all other kind of breathing assistant machines, but nothing worked. I still felt like I was suffocating. Because her lungs were filling up with fluid, she needed to be intubated so that there was adequate oxygen in her blood. I was sort of in la-la land. So I didn't fully understand all the things happening to me um, or the severity of my condition. But later on, my husband explained to me that he had designed papers to put me on the heart transplant list. Her heart failure was getting worse and it was clear that something had to be done. One of the options was ECMO, and that's ultimately what we did. ECMO is a form of mechanical support that allows us to take blood from a person's body, take it to a pump, oxygenate it, and then pump it back to the person. The technology is really advanced to a point where we can really take good care of patients and easily transport them. Well, in this case, ECMO uh, was used to support her organs. It did the work of her heart and lungs. It took them offline gave the doctors time to figure out what was going on and figure out what had caused this problem. It supported her other organs, her brain, her liver, her kidneys, and allowed us time to diagnose the problem and allow that problem to resolve. I was diagnosed with viral myocarditis. It's a viral infection that causes an inflammatory process that results in acute heart failure. My heart muscle was weakened to pump about zero to five percent, so it was not working. We supported her with ECMO to help bridge her. It wasn't clear if she was gonna recover. They ended up giving me a life-saving serum called intravenous immunoglobulin, and it's a mixture of over a thousand people's plasma. It turns out that somebody had the antibody to fight off whatever virus I had. She's made a remarkable recovery, and her prognosis is excellent. Being on ECMO gave them that time that they were able to figure that out and give me that treatment. Certainly patients can do very well in the long term after being on ECMO. I played soccer, we go to the gym, we lift light weights. My husband and I are just very active people, and so we're back to our active lives. We do whatever, whenever, I really have no restrictions. The doctors and nurses have been phenomenal. I've gotten to meet them. I've gotten to thank them personally for saving my life. It's incredible that a hospital so close to us, right in New York, has this technology. We have just been very blessed and very thankful for ECMO and the doctors and nurses that helped us. Oh, it's extremely rewarding that we can offer technology like this to patients like Amanda. 